girls and welcome to HDR Kids Online. I want to wish you all a happy and blessed Wednesday and I am so glad that you're already up and about and joining us and ready for a new Bible adventure. So you know what? How about we go ahead and get started with a word of prayer and we just thank God for this beautiful day that he's given us. So right there with your eyes closed, let's put our hands together and just say, Dear God, thank you for this beautiful day that you've given us. I open my heart to learn more about your word. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Bravo, boys and girls. I am so proud of you for getting up early every morning and saying these prayers to God and learning more about him. So now, why don't we go into our praise verse so we can get our praise time started with Jesus. So this morning's praise verse is found where? Yes, most definitely in the book of Psalms. And it's chapter 47, verse 1. And what does it say? It says, come everyone, clap your hands, shout to God with joyful praise. Wow, that's short and simple, but it's powerful. So it says, come everyone. So I invite you all this morning, let's clap our hands, let's shout with joy and praise God. So I'm gonna invite you all to stand on your feet and let's get ready to praise God with this song that's called Joyful Noise. So if you're ready, here we go.
darkness, you're with me, you're with me. Whenever I'm failing or falling, you've got me, you've got me. For you and I know that you're going to learn a lot. So today we're going to make some new friends. We're going to go into a new Bible adventure found in the Bible. And so I want to invite you all to make yourself comfortable. Go ahead and find a seat, find a good spot so that we can go into this Bible lesson and learn what God has for us today. So if you're ready, here we go. <laughs> Four friends went out to play on a bed. But suddenly to their dismay the rain came down Into the house they went And when ideas for play were spent They got into an argument Until a book was found The Jesus stories full of glory The parables of Jesus taught them how to get along The Jesus stories have his glory The parables of Jesus teach us all day long The Good Samaritan, or what it means to be a good and caring person to those around us. We can set up right in front of the house. Close the door behind you, please. And we can put up a great big sign. We can call it Little Helping Hands. Oh, and we can sell each glass of lemonade for 50 cents. Door, please. No, one dollar. Ooh, a dollar. Door, please. Think of how much money we can raise. 
Well, you two certainly seem excited. Everybody in our Sunday school class is raising money to help needy people. <laughs> yes, we're going to help a lot of people. Mm. Yep, a whole lot. A whole, whole lot. A whole, whole, whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds wonderful. Now, Molly, how about helping me by playing with your little brother so I can prepare some lunch? <laughs> right now? Well, yes, it is time to eat. But, Mom, I can't play with Lucas right now. Mm. We really wanted to start on our project. That's why Margie came over. But, sweetheart... The sooner we start on the project, the sooner we can help other people. And we have paper and paint, ready to make our sign. Please? <sighs> All right. I'll sit your brother in his high chair while I make some sandwiches. Yay! Whoopee! Let's go! Thank you, Mrs. Murphy. That was delicious. You're welcome, Margie. Now, if you two will help me with Lucas while I wash the dishes... Molly? I think we should paint the letters pink with... What happened? Lucas grabbed our sign! He's going to ruin it! And mess up our project to help other people! Go away, Lucas! Go! <laughs> Molly? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom. I feel terrible. Me too. Do you girls remember why you're working on the project in the first place? Hmm. We've read a story at Sunday school. Yes, a Jesus story. Well, maybe we should go back and read it again. Maybe we can get some help for our little situation right in here. Jesus stories! A Jesus story! Is there a Jesus story in the book for me? Jesus stories, heaven's glories! Let's open up the book and we can see! Let's take a look and we will see! One time, a man came up to Jesus and asked, What must I do to be saved? What does the Word of God tell you? To love the Lord my God with all my heart, and my neighbor is myself. Then that is what you should do. Well, um, okay, but uh, how do I know who my neighbor is? I can't really love my neighbor unless I know who he or she is. Jesus smiled and told him a story. Once upon a time, there was a man who was traveling. I'm traveling. I've traveled a long way. I've traveled through the mountains. I've traveled through the valleys. And I'm about to arrive at my destination. Hello! Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, uh, who are you? Me? Why, I'm Rob. And I'm Burrs. Rob Burrs? Uh-oh. Oh! <laughs> the poor man was robbed and left on the road in a very sad shape. He couldn't even get up. Oh, someone help me, please. Oh. Well, thankfully, just at that time, a very religious man came down the same path. Surely this very religious man would help. But when he saw the traveling man, he... <laughs> Please, hmm? help me. Please. <laughs> uh -oh. Thankfully, soon there came another man, a helper in the temple. But when he spotted the wounded traveling man, he... 
Aha! What a beautiful hill. I think I will climb it. <laughs> uh, oh. By that time, the poor traveling man was not doing well at all. In fact, it looked like he was not going to make it. But just then... Oh my! Oh, my good fellow! Oh, you... You poor man! I... I will help you. The Samaritan! That is what the good man was. A man from Samaria. He bandaged the man's wounds and put him on his donkey. This was very amazing, as usually, the people from Samaria didn't get along with the people from where the traveling man was from. But that didn't stop the good Samaritan from helping the wounded traveling man. He took him straight to an inn and did his best to take care of him. The next day, he said to the innkeeper, Please, take care of this poor man. I will pay for anything he needs. Thank you so much. Thank you so very, very much. When Jesus was finished telling the story, he asked, So, which of the three men do you think treated the traveling man like a neighbor? Well, uh, the one who showed him kindness. The one who took care of him. Then go and do the same. Ugh, I did the wrong thing. Did you? We wanted to do all we could for others, but we didn't show kindness to those closest to us. Lucas, and you! You drove us home, put away the groceries, made us lunch, washed the dishes. And we were too busy to show you our appreciation by helping you or even saying thank you. I really want to help other people. I really do. But I also need to help those that are right here, right now. I'm sorry, Mom. I love you. And I love you too, Molly. <coughs> Lucas, look! <gasps> Our sign! It's perfect! Little helping hands. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we, all of us, <laughs> are helping to raise money for needy people. And did you enjoy our new friends? Today we met Molly and her friend Margie as they were planning to do a lemonade stand. Have you ever done that? Have you ever done a fundraiser or done something to raise money, whether it was for yourself or for another person? Well, they decide that they are going to do a lemonade stand to raise money to help people in need. And they're doing this with their church and a lot of the other kids are doing it also. And they're so excited about raising money to help people in need. But you know what? In the middle of all that they're doing, they kind of get sidetracked and they get more focused on making money than helping the people in need. And while they're thinking about helping the other people in need, they don't realize that Molly's mother needs help with baby brother and they mistreat baby brother and then he starts crying and that hurts mommy's feelings. And so you know what? It's not until they go to the Bible and they learn the story of the Good Samaritan and how somebody helped somebody else that was in need. There was a lot of other men that walked by, but they didn't help him until that one person came along called the Good Samaritan and gave from what he had to help that man that had been beaten and thrown on the street and needed help. And you know what, boys and girls? There's a lot of people around us today that need our help. 
And you know what? Maybe right now you can't go out. You can't do a fundraiser with the church or with your school or maybe even with your neighbors because you can't really go out right now. But right there in your home, I can guarantee you that there's people that need your help. Let's start off with your mom and your dad. And maybe you have a baby brother and a baby sister or an older brother and an older sister. Maybe they need help. Maybe they need help to wash dishes, to set the table, clean your room, to take out the trash, feed the dog or the cat or the bird or the fish or the hamster, whatever pet you may have, may you may have at home. You know, I'm sure that there's plenty that you could do right there at home to help out. And that pleases God. It pleases God when we help others in need. So today, boys and girls, I want to challenge you that you can say, okay, where can I help at home? And that you rise up to the task and say, I'll help. I'll do it. Let me do it. And I know that God's going to bless you. Today's Bible memory verse is found in the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 13 and it talks about exactly this Bible lesson and you know what it says boys and girls it says when God's people are in need be ready to help them wow isn't that an amazing Bible verse it says this is what God tells you and he tells me when God's people are in need be ready to help them so you know what we need to be ready to help whether it's helping mom helping dad helping baby brother baby sister older brother older sister whoever it may be in your house if they need help be ready to help them that is our memory verse well boys and girls why don't we say a word of prayer and let's ask God to help us so that we can be ready to help those that are in need. So right there where you're at, close your eyes, put your hands together and say this prayer. Dear God, thank you for today's Bible lesson, for teaching me that I am to help those who are in need and help me to help those that are closest to me right now by helping my parents, by helping my younger brothers and sisters or older brothers and sisters, even my grandma, my aunt, my uncle, those that are closest to me, help me to help them because that pleases you. And thank you, Jesus, for living in my heart today and forever. Amen and amen. Bravo, boys and girls. I'm so happy that you've repeated that prayer. And so remember, God wants us to help those that are in need that are closest to us. And we need to be ready. So, boys and girls, stand up to your feet. And why don't we sing this song that's called Gonna Serve. So let's join this song and declare, God, today I'm gonna serve those that are in need around me. So if you're ready... Let's go.
I hope you enjoyed that new song. And remember, we sang, I'm gonna serve. And so that's what we need today. And so let's just review our memory verse one more time, boys and girls, found in the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 13, and what it says, okay? I did it. What I did is I did a circle of hands. You see my circle of hands? Well, it's I did hands because hands is what we use. We use our hands to serve and to help others. So once again, when God's people are in need, be ready to help them. Romans 12, 13. Be ready to help them with your hands. Okay, that is our memory verse. And you can do whatever you want to do with it. Now, boys and girls, I happen to know that we have a birthday in the house. Yes, we have a birthday today. And whose birthday is it? Well, I want to give a special birthday shout out to Eric Botello that is turning four years old today. Bravo. Can we all put our hands together for Eric? and wish him a happy fourth birthday? Well, how about we all join right now and we sing happy birthday to Eric for his, for, for his fourth birthday. So if you're all ready, let's sing to Eric right now. It's time for us to wrap this up. I know there's lots of things to do today, but I want to remind you, make sure you send me your name, first name, last name, if you're joining us live, so that Monday, when we come on again, we'll see who the winner is for our next t-shirt. So we've already given some away, and I remind you, don't get discouraged if you haven't gotten one yet. You believe, we prayed. Remember, we prayed the other day, and we said, God, you know I want one, and I'm believing that I'm going to receive one. So you keep believing that God has an HDR Kids t-shirt for you, and it's right around the corner. So, boys and girls, join us tomorrow at 10 o'clock a.m. for another Bible adventure. We'll make new friends and learn something new from God's Word. So, we're going to dismiss with this song called Serve Others because today we learned that God wants us to help those people that are in need and that we need to be ready to help them. So, Love you, boys and girls. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>